What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torque Drift. Almost 10,000, 10, 10 million sessions played. That number going up every second. So I haven't been on Torque Drift here in a minute, so I figured we'd hop on today, do some tandems, and just do basically do all the tandems we can in a bunch of different cars and uh, see how we do. And it looks like we got some Long Beach to run. So we're going to go run some Long Beach sections. Like I said, we're going to try a bunch of different cars, have a little fun with it, and just... Uh, Basically, uh, shake the rust off a little bit because I haven't been on much recently. Been doing a lot of stuff, um, personal and stuff like that, and been getting ready for something big coming to the channel. Well, not really big, but something coming to the channel for sure. So, looks like we're going to run the E46 first, and we're going to kick it up in the fourth. We're going to see what type of score we can get on our first run out here in Long Beach. Hard initiation in, right on that clip. A little bit of the wall, flick it, run that wall as far as we can. I misanticipated that transition and biffed it into the wall. So not how I wanted to start the first run off. Um, we looked pretty good in the beginning, but uh, unfortunately, we were not able to get that fully. Oh, he's not even going to get a chance to go again. What? He won't even give us a chance to go against him again. Well, unfortunately, we are going to just have to try to find somebody else to go against in the Z46. Definitely been uh, enjoying the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus that I play this game on now. It's very seamless, very smooth. I can play a lot of runs and a lot of the game and not have to worry about my battery dying or anything like that. So now we got the first mess up out of the way. So we're going to go straight for it now here and see if we can't actually get a better run. Hard initiation. Not as close as that wall as I wanted to be. We did miss that clip. And unfortunately, we're going to have to do something I'm not very fond of, and that is that double flick transition there to keep my points going. Not very fond of that when you run not the course parameters, but I didn't want to lose my points. Had to basically reinitiate. Doesn't matter. He got 112. We had 74. So we're going to try and uh, basically get as good of a chase as we can because uh well fortunately uh our lead was not the best the car's quick kind of run away from me gonna try and uh suck up to his door and i was not expecting that angle that he was gonna throw up against that wall but we were able to keep our points we didn't lose our points so maybe we'll get a chance to go against him again he had one hundred twelve thousand lead run we're not gonna get a chance to go I, People just keep quitting. He didn't even chase. And I still lost. Um. Well. That's not starting off very good. So. Definitely going to want to get some redemption in my E46. It is one of my favorite cars. That rotary power plant underneath that hood. And those uh nice deep dish wide. Wheels. Looks like. I got to unlock the paint. I, I believe I have. I have the stuff to unlock it so I can uh, paint wheels. I just haven't done it yet. So we need to try and get a good lead. Initiate in. We're really good on the initiation. Really good on that wall. Gonna flick that later. Run it on the outer wall. This is a much better, uh, much better run as long as we don't smack the wall there. We did not. We're good. We're gonna finish that run out and that'll be over 100,000 point run. Not my best lead run. I've had way higher than that. And it looks like we have a battle on our hands. 109 to 104. Let's see what we can do in the chase position. You got those highlighter green wheels going on that S14 right now. And we're just going to have to go right into it with that uh, his little bit of a flick there. But we are on his door. Going to transition in. I did not hold the power like he did. Had to back off a little bit. And then we just bumped right into him there. So not the cleanest chase. The entry of that chase was amazing though. But unfortunately we couldn't keep that. Because we had to back off a little bit. Did we take the win? We did take the win. So we're going to take a quick look at this initiation. Right there. Right through the smoke cloud. Right on his door. Quick transition point though. And uh, let's see if we can't get a up high view of that and see 
if we can get a closer view or a nicer view of that going right in cutting through the smoke right on his door and a quick flick but i flicked too early and didn't anticipate but we were still able to get the win so i'll take it nice initiation run though so now we're gonna probably switch up cars let's drive some cars we haven't driven and we'll take uh christos blush's hero fighter e92 m3 and uh definitely excited to see james dean's hero fighter that he will be using overseas because he did take delivery of an E92 as well. Or F22. I think it was an E92. I, it is an E92. I don't even know why I was questioning that. Falcon Tires E92. And it looks like we're going against Sandwich in his Supra. So we're going to kick this thing into fourth. See if we can't get this Eurofighter sideways. Oh, well, we definitely got it sideways into the wall, but. Try and transition. Just, just a tap on that wall. Feather and throttle. Looks like we got a decent latter half of the track. If we didn't bang the wall on initiation, this probably would be much better. And if we didn't tap the wall at the end to lose our drift combos, it would have been even better. So 54 to 72, we're probably going to take the loss on this one unless we can somehow make an immaculate chase of 30, 40, 50,000. And it bothers me when people do that and sh cut the corner like that. But we are going to get on his door. We have to back off a little bit. Uh, well, a little bit too close on initiation there with this zero fighter. But we're having some moments of glory. But like I said, I'm not a fan of when people do that whole flick hard right in the beginning of Long Beach. It's just, it's it's not, you know, it kind of gets the chase driver out of whack. And it's unfortunate that people do that. But you know what? To each their own. I try to follow the line of how the, the you know, the track is run. Um, that's just my personal start driving style. Looks like we're going against a rusted S13 G Money. And, uh, well, take the Zero Fighter out for another rip. I am definitely enjoying how the Zero Fighter is driving. Maybe have to drive this car a little bit more maybe tune it get a little more comfortable in it but this car nice and flowy wish i was a little bit closer to that wall and that wall but if we can get a smooth run without losing our points we'll get a very decent lead run and uh right there very decent lead run that huge carbon kevlar hump 96 to 97 so we do have a battle on our hands in the euro fighter so hopefully we can throw down a chase like we did on that supra in this battle and maybe we can make this that much of a better battle so here we go he's gonna run the course how it needs to be run so we're gonna try and initiate in with him a little bit shaky on the wall and he hung that out a little bit more than I anticipated, but we are still somewhat there. I'm going to be risky and run it on his door right there. We didn't hit the wall. Too much of a angled out there. Did not expect an angle out and angle up that much. But decent chase nonetheless. Not enough to get us the win. Is he going to let us go against him one more time? We will. Let's go one more time against him in the Eurofighter. See if we can't get a better lead this time. And uh, hopefully uh, we can get another decent chase. Now that I kind of know his run, I will be somewhat anticipated for it. We're going to hang that out on the wall. Hang that out on that wall. This is a much better lead than last time. And angled up too far on that wall and backed into the tires losing our points which means our multiplier for the clean run got knocked down so we'll see what kind of run he got looks like he had some incidences that was a nice hard flick there though right on that wall right on that transition point definitely loving long beach i'm starting to love this euro fighter too oh come oh man come on Ugh. And see, that's what happens. It throws you so off. It throws the chase driver off. And it's just, I mean, I guess if you're going for points, 
that's the ba that's the way to go. But if you're going for smoothness and cleanness and sake of tandems, that is not the way to go. And he biffed it in the wall. So we're going to take that win. So some things I'm not too fond of when people do is that. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. It is just a game. So I can post my opinion that, you know, I don't think they should be doing it like that. But, hey, you know, to each their own. So I think we're going to run one more time here in the Euro Fighter. Maybe switch it up to another car. But I am definitely loving this E92 right now. Looks like we got question marks in an S13 or S14. Excuse me. Don't bash me in the comments. I knew it was an S15. So we're going to initiate in, try to get as many points as we can on that wall. Run this wall as much as we can. Hang that out. Oh, my wall tap. Surprised we were able to keep those points after hitting that. We're going to have to straighten up there, though. We're going to have to loss of drift, lose all these points, and finish it off. Unfortunately, the wall tap, too much to be able to keep online. And uh, kind of made the run go from probably a 100,000-point run to a 58. And it looks like it's a 5,000-point run. He's definitely going to uh, bounce out of that one. Sorry, man, he probably hit the wall on initiation. But you know what? I've done that I don't know how many times. So I'm used to uh, making some mistakes. Looks like we got another S13. 824 horses under that one. So let's see what we can do here. I'm actually having a lot of fun in this Eurofighter. Hard flick, drag that back. As many points as we can. Close to the wall. We didn't catch the transition. I always try to catch that transition just as it's about to lose. So we're going to catch this one. So we still didn't lose all our points until right there when we go too greedy and back into that sidewall. Still a 73,000 point run. So definitely getting more comfortable in this Euro Fighter. Going to be doing this a lot more with this car for sure. He's not going to want to go against us in tandem. So I think we're going to switch it up to another car. Not sure what I want to drive. We could bring out the vet. We can bring out, you know what, we'll bring out Chris Forsberg's car. His car is definitely a fun car to drive. So, and he uh, he did pretty good in, uh, in Orlando round two. So we could bring out Chris Forsberg's car. Hopefully, uh, you know, Chris Forsberg will get the win here for me. So we're going to try and just kick this in. A little bit of glitch there, but not much. Way off the wall there. Try to drag that out as high as we can. Just a little, just a little wall grazer. Angle that car out. I am surprised that we are able to get the points totals that we just got with Chris Forsberg. We were way offline. But we were able to get 116,000. Good thing because he got 92. So those wall taps helped. The wall drag. And uh, I'm definitely surprised we got that. So now we got to throw down a solid chase to solidify the win. And we did get left a little bit off the start. But we will be able to still be in tandem till right there. And we're going to have to seriously cut that angle. And we are way out of the tandem circle. That E46 is quick. So unfortunately, with a very solid lead run, we are unfortunately in active chase in Forsberg's car. And that's going to write the zero for us lost in that one. Oh, we still took the win. Well then. I mean, we're going to go one more time with him, but I don't think we'll be able to catch him in the... Uh, in the chase. We're going to try maybe a fourth gear rollout. Shift into fifth. That was definitely a very bad initiation. And we lost our points already through there. So this is not going to be a good run. Hang that out way too much. Yep. Way offline because of that initiation. So we will probably take the loss on this one. Or maybe not. 44 to 36. Is he going to give us the chance to uh, 
chase him down. He's not. He's going to bounce out. So Chris Forsberg gets the win. <laughs> so we're going to go change it up to another car here. Um, Not really sure which cars I want to run. Maybe we'll bring out the old Faithful S15. 760 horse. Not really sure what gear I need to be in. And it looks like we're going to be going against a very, very quick E46. So we're just going to kick it into fourth. And hope that we can throw down a good solid lead with maybe high angle, high points. And get a good points total for the lead. This cart drifts, slides so much. We're going to have to straighten that up. And we're going to lose that angle and drift and unfortunately not get a good run i mean it's still a 70 000, 80 000 point run but 113 yeah we needed we needed one of those euro fighter runs but and i think we're probably gonna get left at the line so if you guys want to keep seeing torch drift on the channel make sure you comment and tap the like button I do appreciate all the support and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber i would appreciate the support throw it in and I didn't think we were anywhere near that wall, but we biffed it into the wall on our chase. So, definitely uh, the wrong choice of car to go against that HGK E46. I know that paint, and I know this man. Definitely a solid driver. Wish I would have had my E46 to go against him, but unfortunately we did not. So we will take the loss. I think we're going to try and run one more time in our... Either our E46 or that Eurofighter. I think we're going to go with the E46. Try to get our redemption on it before we end this episode off. So, like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. And that is a very purple... That's like a Forrest Wang paint scheme. I'm okay with this. Forrest Wang, one of my favorite drivers. Styles for miles. So let's... uh. See if we can't get a good lead. Hard initiate in. Getting our clips. Really hard on the wall, but it's going to throw us way off angle. And we're going to have to double initiate back in. Unfortunately, that's going to mess up the chase driver. So I do feel bad for uh, having to do that double initiation in. Because that's going to mess up his run. So hopefully it doesn't screw his chase up too bad. I always feel bad when I have to do something like that. Because it's, it's unfortunate for the chase driver. I like to try to make the cleanest lead run I can, but it looks like he only got 43, so it looks like he is not going to even want to go against us. I've had a lot of people forfeiting on me recently, um, and I'm not sure if they're just not comfortable trying to chase or they think they're too far behind. I personally will usually never forfeit because I always want to try and just get a good chase because if you have a higher lead run, you can get a pretty awesome chase. So we faced this man before, so... I faced him before off camera, of course. So we're going to try and throw down with him here. I should probably unlock that so I can paint wheels. Bit of an early initiation, but we're going to hold it out there. Do a late flick there. Get as many wall points as we can. And hope to God we don't have to. Okay, so we don't have to lose our points there. We're able to somehow salvage and angle out and get around that final turn here in Long Beach. So this is probably going to be the last run. Hopefully he gets a good run, 70 to 106. So we're going to get to go a chase run to end this episode off. So hope you guys enjoyed this truck drift episode. More stuff coming to the channel with Forza and stuff like that. So stay tuned to the channel. Some things are going to be happening, some cool things. So we are going to just throw in on this man's door. And he's going to throw some massive angle. We're going to have to back up a little bit. And he's going to have to double initiate, but we are still... Still on his door. I am okay with this run being the final run of this episode. Door banging across the line. So if you guys want to keep seeing torture, make sure you just tap that like button. I do appreciate all the support. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. That was a pretty solid right there on his door. Little uh double initiation, but we were right on his door. Telling them we're still there. I had to angle that out, hold it, a little door love. We're definitely good.